final crash here. I'm hoping this is pronounced Tation Mansion. This is a very pyro-focused domain. These guys deal a lot of DPS, so around the 70s or 80s was giving me a lot of difficulty. But we're a little stronger. We bring some ice and water for a lot of CC shutdown. We're farming this for the talent level up materials. So this is a good time to be showing this. So let's get started. We're not as concerned with elemental resonances this time around. Child is our main DPS. You can see he's ascended six, so he's very strong for this. He can pretty much carry Chung Yoon. We have a lot of constellations on him. He does a lot of ice for the CC. Sing Cho, he has the constellations to provide child the support he needs. And Barbara is pretty much just our healer. Now, we have used these weapons and artifacts before and covered them in different videos, so there's no reason to go over them in excruciating detail. We can just uh, gloss over them really quickly, just for posterity. Even the artifacts, you can just see the set bonuses for the most part, but I don't recall leveling these up any from the last videos. We still don't want to cover constellations too much. The only one that I do want to cover is Sing Cho's Rainbow. This decreases the Hydro Res when he presses his ulti. It's huge DPS for Child. We occasionally mess with talents here, so these numbers could be different from last time. We are concerned with Rain Cutter here. This is the one attached to his constellation, and Barbara's numbers we should have risen from last time. I like to show the Leyline Disorders if they're annoying. Smoldering Flames that periodically damages you is pretty damn annoying. It's a lot of DPS. It is something to be mindful of when you're playing. Typically when I fight the Minotaurals, it's not that big of an issue, but... Once the three ages come alive, then it really starts to be noticed. My takes doing this have been so awkward. I don't really know the take I'm looking for. I guess the take that someone dies. Because most of the time when I play this game, I'm not like 100% sweating my ass off. So, obviously when I'm trying to like show how good or hard something is, I'm going to be trying pretty damn hard. You can see her alive, so we don't need to do this with her. Just watch this ulti. You saw a child's life right there get healed pretty good already. So let's switch to child again. We don't want to press our skill because we want to save it for the two agents. Instead, let's just shoot these guys down. Child's DPS is enough that we can just spam our normal attacks. This guy's going to down soon. We don't want to get hit by that, but it's kind of hard to 100% avoid it. We have a lot of skills. Everything is saved up, so let's see what we can do here. This is pretty good right now. Let's get this off. The issue with doing that is we have to use the normal version of his ulti now. It's fine. I still like it because it refunds a bunch of your ulti anyways. Even if the damage is not quite as good. We can see Child's life going down slowly. These guys hurt a lot, so I need to pay attention to it. We can heal up a little bit here. We don't really need the healing. But for the sake of this, we might as well... Child is fine. We'll do the strong version of the ulti. I don't think that guy's dead. We can go ahead and switch to Chung Yoon. The name kind of makes me stagger a little bit. See, it was good. I was pressing ulti, but you can see that the cooldown on it's not back. We can finish this off with him. I'm just kidding. He's not strong enough. Doesn't matter where that guy is. I actually couldn't see him in the darkness. Their camouflage is so damn good sometimes. So shout out to that guy. That was a much better take. It's more practical to how I run these sometimes. It's an awkward domain. These guys hurt a lot. You can see my life management is very awkward. The problem with this is that Child is strong. He's a good DPS. He's a good carry. I think because Chung Yoon has so much constellations, he can still carry through this. But there's definitely a lot of stuff going on that may be part of my gameplay as well. There's a lot of stuff going on that's kind of hard to explain in such a rush. But like I said, Swordering Flames is annoying. Trying to sustain that, keep yourself alive, and kill those guys. And I'm playing this in such a hurry. We're not stalling out at all. So it's definitely a certain kind of take. See, seeing them down is... One of the ways I've always liked to run this domain. Well, I'm going to say thank you for watching and have a good day.